Hey guys, James here from 5Axis Maker with another Fusion 360 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use model geometry and coordinates to control pool orientation. In my last video, I covered the basics of setting up a multi-axis toolpath. So let's open my toolpath and look at the tool orientation and explore more of its selection features. In the previous video, I used the model origins coordinate axis to set tool orientation, but we can also select edges and faces of geometry. We're not just constrained to model or stock geometry either. This can be done by using any geometry, positioning them at any angle to orientate the tool. My tool will always stay perpendicular from a face or tangent to a line. This can be any orientation, you're not constrained to just 90 degrees. Using geometry is helpful to physically predict what orientation you want your tool to be constrained to. But what if you don't have geometry that meets the correct tool orientation? We can create a coordinate system that can be rotated to achieve the tool orientation we need. We do this by using empty components. Let's start by creating an empty component. Let's select it and turn its origin on. And also let's move and rotate the component itself. Now I'm going to go back into manufacture and use the new components coordinate system to set the orientation of my tool. You can rotate the component at any time and the tool will follow. All you need to do after positioning is regenerate the toolpath. Now that we have covered how to orient the tool, I'm going to cover in my next video how to constrain toolpaths using sketches. Thanks for watching and leave a comment if you have any questions. Take care.